what are some of the key topics at the World Economic Forum? Are we focusing this on this year? Well, the umbrella theme, as you've mentioned, is implications of the global economic crisis for Africa. And as such, we're going to be delving into some of the key issues pertaining to that, particularly how the crisis has affected some of the major sectors in our economy, such as mining, resource commodities, tourism, agriculture. I know the World Economic Forum comes at the back or the end of the G20 and I know there's going to be discussions about some of the communiques and some of the discussions that were held at the G20 in terms of planting a way forward for the World Economic Forum that's taking place here in Cape Town. That's correct. This afternoon we have a session called the G20 Directive where a number of the leaders who attended the discussions in London will be providing the feedback um, of the discussions that happened. Um, we have Mr. Donald Kabaruka as well as Trevor Manuel, Lord Malik Brown. So it should be a very, very interesting discussion. I know that Grasha Michelle is also going to be taking part in this year's World Economic Forum and she's going to be taking part in a plenary discussion focusing on the girl effect. Tell me a little bit more about that. Well it's actually an interactive discussion that we will have tomorrow afternoon which is looking at the economic imperative of empowering uh, young women uh, through education, through health care and I know that Grasha Michelle is particularly passionate about this as are we. Um, and so it's addressing both the social imperative of um, um, you know, half of our population, but also the economic side of empowering our young women. So when it comes to charting a roadmap for Africa post the global economic crisis, what do you think some of those discussions will entail at this year's forum? Well, I think it's incredibly important um, that our leaders are looking at ways to collaborate better across our borders. I think Africa really needs to come together and bond together to address the challenges that we're facing, but also look forward to the opportunities. And I think greater discourse, greater collaboration, by our world leaders, both on the political front, civil society and business will really help do that. Let's take a look also at climate change and issues of food security. I know those are also quite top on the agenda at this year's forum as well. That's correct. In addition to our opening and closing plenary, we will have two major sessions tomorrow morning and Thursday afternoon. The morning session will be looking at uh, the effects of climate change and the decisions that our business leaders need to take when addressing running their operations, running their businesses, but also looking at the impact of business um, and climate change for the continent. In the afternoon, we come back to a topic that we have touched on a number of times through our different summits, looking at um, Africa's potential uh, to be the supplier, the bread basket for the world. That's right. And in terms of some of the debates that are taking place, what are the key debates that we should be looking out for at this year's forum? Well, we're going to have a very interesting session um, with uh, CNBC, obviously, tomorrow afternoon, which is going to be re-evaluating um, investment risk and investments in Africa. So that I'm sure that will be a very heated discussion. We also have another debate on the Friday uh, called Political Leaders in Changing Times, where a couple of our um, heads of state will be addressing the issues that they're facing as world leaders.